Hey everyone, I brought donuts. Tonight I'm just out in the woods doing a deluxe camping overnight. Oh boy, that's okay. So let's do a quick unpacking so you can see what I brought with. Everything down here is just consumables, unnecessary consumables. I have a Delmonico steak and some salad for supper, a couple of monsters, paper plates, and my donuts. Water here, I brought a saw, the BTR stool, which conveniently does fit in the Helinox uh, bags by Hilltop Packs, by the way. I brought some trekking poles, simply for porch mode tonight, on my hammock tarp. Food bag, which also has my MSR coffee mug and my cook kit. Electronics, headlamp, battery charger, etc. Apex Giant Grill, which hopefully we will be using tonight if I can get a fire started with this damp wood. My fanny pack full of uh, extracurricular activities. My poop kit with my dirt diggler and all my pH items and things like that. Hammock tarp. Pillow, straps for my hammock, my quilt, all from Superior Gear. So that's pretty much everything. I didn't bring a water filter tonight because I brought enough water to make it for an overnight. Oftentimes you don't need it. So that's unpacking. Let's set up camp. So it's not raining today. I'm gonna to set up my hammock first. Uh, if it is raining, I set up my tarp first because then I can set up my hammock rain free. Uh, but just so you guys can see a little bit better without the tarp in the way, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the hammock first. So even though the trees are far apart, Superior Gear hammock straps, or the Superior straps, I believe they're called, are my favorite because you can make about anything work, including really large tree trunks and trees that are maybe just a little too far apart. Okay, so the hammock is hung. Uh, the farther apart your trees are, the higher up you generally want to go with your straps to obtain that 30 degree angle, which is approximately holding your finger like that. So this is all hung up and ready to go. And uh, next step, I'm gonna put on that new breathable uh, underquilt protector. Uh, the last one I had, if you don't know, was a waterproof one, not breathable, and I experienced some condensation in it. So Superior Gear Hammocks, being the awesome customer service people that they are, sent me the breathable one uh, to see if that'll work better. So I'm going to put that on next. Alright, so that is the breathable under quilt protector. We'll give that a try tonight. Uh, it just snaps on all the Superior Gear accessories, bug nets, all the cool stuff they have are all completely compatible with their hammocks. Snap-on, super simple, airtight, no draft spots or anything like that. I love everything that Superior Gear Hammocks does. Um, so let's see if this breathable underquilt protector will not only add a little warmth, fingers crossed, but not gather any condensation on the inside. I think it's just because I'm such a hot bod. Before we set up the tarp though, I think I need a donut. Cheers to you, friends. So this is the Superior Gear Winter Tarp, and it does have some doors on either end. I usually just use it as a huge, long tarp. Tonight I might do kind of a modification of that. Uh, I have it hung higher. Basically, the lower you hang your tarp, uh, the more prepared you are for weather. Uh, it's gonna be fairly mild tonight, I believe, so I'm gonna go kind of deluxe with a porch mode, keep it up nice and high so I can stand underneath it and make myself a nice little uh, home here. Let's do a 360 tour maybe. So this is how I modify it in porch mode. One side pitched down low, the other side up high. Little wind protection with the winter flaps. 
you can probably visualize how that could be sealed up. There's the speed hanger by Apex Giant. So coming around my front door, here is the porch. In we go. That's the waterproof superior uh, on your quilt protector there, which also works as a ground sheet. Very much needed today. So I got all my stuff sprawled out there. And then to the hammock. So again, this is the breathable over quilt protector, under quilt protector, excuse me. 15 degree superior gear, lofty ass quilt. One of my favorite features, stuff sack becomes a ridgeline organizer and a pillow. So set up for the night quite comfortably. It's gonna get down to about 30. Now I'm just gonna enjoy the sounds of nature and chainsaws. All right, it's steak time. I got the Apex Giant Grill over a bed of hot coals. I think that's the best way to cook probably with it instead of over an open flame. Uh, it's sizzling nice. Let's see how she turns out. So before I doze off to sleepy land, thought I'd talk to you real quick about why I choose a hammock. Uh, one reason is because under a tarp like this, I have lots of room to move around if it's raining or if there's weather, I can cook in here, tons of room. Number two, uh, it's really easy to get in and out of a hammock, uh, not only just generally, but most importantly when I gotta pee. And third, I just sleep a lot better in a hammock. Uh, I find that it's uh, easier for me to toss and turn. So yeah. I'm gonna curl up in bed here. Maybe watch some uh, movies on my hang time hook. Thanks, Daniel B. And I will report to you guys in the morning just how uh, this breathable superior gear under quilt uh, works this time. So, good night. Love y'all. Well, good morning. I slept great. Uh, got down to about 30 degrees and I have a 45 degree hammock. So that's another testament to superior gear hammocks uh, that goes well below, below the comfort limits. I slept barefoot uh, which is this sweatshirt on. Slept really good. Uh, but more importantly what you're all waiting for is this under quilt protector which there's no real good way to show you. But I can assure you that the breathable version it worked. So thanks Pete and Danny at Superior Gear for sending me this one. Uh, I have zero condensation in here and uh, that works a heck of a lot better than having wetness inside here to get your down all wet, which could be a trip ruiner. So happy to report this thing worked better. So I'm gonna chill out, be lazy for a while and then I'll uh, pack her up and get the hell out of here. And without further ado, be yourself, be happy. We'll see y'all on the next adventure, everybody. Bye.